Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the 15th Excel 2013 tutorial and today's topic is going to be how to create a Gantt chart. I wanted to point out all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other links that may be of interest to you including the YouTube channel. What I'm going to do here or what I've done here is I've created a list of a simple list of tasks, five tasks uh, and then I've listed a start date for each one of those tasks and the duration of those tasks. And so what I would like to do is create a nice clean Gantt chart here. So in order to do that, a simple way to do it is just go into the insert button here, insert menu on the um, in Excel, and I'm going to go create a bar chart. And I'm going to click on the bar charts over here, and I'm going to go ahead and do a 2D stacked bar. And you'll notice right off the bat, I didn't select any data over here yet. I've just created a blank chart. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the different elements in from the data over here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I've selected the chart. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go ahead and select data. So the first data that I want to select, I'm going to do add a series of data. And what I want to add here is I want to add a series name and I'm going to call it start date so I just click on the start date cell here and then on the values I click the button here and I'm going to highlight all the values here you can see it automatically fills it in and I close that out and I say OK so now you can see real briefly here you've got you've got your five tasks and it just created these um, the blue bars over here and you can see a range of dates so now what I want to do is I want to add a second series of data because I want to I want to add the duration to these um, to these uh, to this chart. So I'm going to go add, and my series name this time I'm going to make it duration, and then again I'm going to click on the series values and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the values. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to close that out. Now I say OK, and now what you'll notice is I'm going to click OK for a moment. And now you notice you've got two different colors here. You've got the blue and the uh, burnt orange color here. And you'll notice um, this is actually the duration is this orangish color here. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the blue piece of the bar. So how we do that, we just click on any of the, of the bars. And you see it highlights them. I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to go ahead and say format data series. Then what I do, I go over here, I go to the little paint bucket here, fill in line, and then I go to the fill section. If it's not expanded, just click the little expansion arrow there. Click no fill. And there you have it. Now you just have the duration on the chart. So a couple other things that we may want to do. We're starting to make some good progress here. I'm going to close that out. So a couple things we want to do is we want to clean this up because we see we have numbers one through five. Well we want to make that much we want to make that friendly to read so we know what these tasks are. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back in here or the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go back in here, we're going to select the whole chart. I am going to select data again. And this time I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit the access label. See right here they're labeled one through five. I'm going to click edit. And then now I'm just going to highlight all of these values over here. I'm going to say OK. So now you're getting, I'm going to close that out. Now you see you have a much cleaner look to this. So a couple other things that we need to do here are you'll notice right off the bat that these are kind of in reverse order. You probably want to see the start of the project up top and the bottom at, at the, and the end of the project at the bottom of the chart. So one thing we're going to do here, we're going to highlight the vertical axis here and just single click it and then right click it and say format axis. Now you're going to see over here you're going to be under axis options and you're going to be under the axis options here and you're going to want to go down and you're going to want to choose categories in reverse order and you'll notice that it automatically flips them and the whole chart is flipped. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to go in here and we want to probably clean this up because this is really hard to read here. The dates are a little too crammed so I'm going to highlight that axis and I'm going to go ahead and right click it and I'm going to say 
format access and now um, I have a couple things I can do over here first thing I'm going to do I'm going to scroll down under the access options over here and make sure it's under access options here and I'm going to expand the number section and I'm going to change the date format you can see over here I'm going to do a little pull down I'm going to do the pull down menu and I'm going to choose just the month and the day so it's more legible and you can see that's much cleaner now the other thing that you might want to do is you notice that it started it automatically at the end of May when the project doesn't start until July 1st so you may want the chart you may want this to be over more and get rid of this dead space on the chart and how you can do that is modify the access options the min and the maximum here so you'll notice that the date is actually in a numbers format here so 41790.0 probably doesn't mean a lot to to most people so in order to figure out what that what these values are what you can do is go over here to the start date highlight that column right click it say format cells and then there it goes and then change it to a number and then you'll you'll go ahead and click OK and you'll see it changes it from 41821 to 41866 so I'm gonna go ahead and just reverse that so we know it starts at 41821 so now if I want to go back in here and edit that number I can go on over here and so it was 41821 so let's assume that we want to make it start at 41820 as an example you can experiment a little bit and see what you like you can see what happened it cleaned that up and it moved everything over so it's a much cleaner looking chart here and then finally um, another thing that you probably want to do is you uh, probably want to add a chart title here so what you can do here you can go under um, see design and then you can go to add chart element over here on the far left and you can add access title or sorry chart title and you can do it above chart centered overlay more title options I'm gonna do above chart and we'll call it our project chart alright I hope this was helpful and thanks for joining and please subscribe take care